Don't watch this telescope disaster if you have a weak heart. This is a C14 Celestron, 14 inch telescope. And they're trying to balance the uh, telescope by the counterweight. And this is what happens. The front glass completely shattered, secondary mirror popped out. You can see secondary mirror rolling out now. And uh, this was during the demonstration, they were selling the telescope. And they're opening it just to demonstrate to the to the buyer, and that's what happened. Uh, C11 against the C14. C11 itself is very big, and C14 is huge. Compared with the 8 inch to the left and uh, 12 inch to the right, you can see that. The size again, 8 inch to the left, 12 inch to the right. They're huge. <laughs> that's huge. That's C14 again to the right. This is C14 on its uh, mount. You don't do that much, uh, you know, in many times. You just once install it and then you have to leave it, really. It's not a telescope, really, that you can actually uh, take it off and just bring it back. At the same time, you can see a lot of cracks on this uh, telescope. This is because when you're tired, when you're, you know, coming from work, you don't have the, really the mood for it. Don't take your biggest telescope out. If you want to observe, just take a small one. Have a small one always. Even a binocular, a pair of binoculars is better than to end up with a, 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 such a disaster. Some of them can be actually used, but uh, you see a lot of spikes probably around the brighter stars. But uh, that's hopefully something that you will remember. Fasten the clamp first. As you can see, the dovetail actually was not inside the clamp even. So that is what happened. And uh, in a similar situation with the C11, uh, this is what happened. When they're trying to remove the glass, the rest of the glass falls inside on the mirror. That's dangerous. Los Mandy, it seems this is not good in that sense, if it is Los Mandy.